In this section, we're going to take a look at index full scan operations. These are operations that will read the entire index, so they are not as efficient as simply traversing the tree structure of an index and finding the rows of interest. But since an index typically contains fewer blocks than a table, there are situations where Oracle can take advantage of this and reading the entire index to get the data it needs rather than performing a full table scan is more efficient. The next operation to discuss is an index fast full scan operation. In this operation, Oracle is going to read the entire index and is going to read the index in an unsorted order. What this means is that Oracle is not traversing the tree structure of the index, it's just reading all of the blocks of the index as fast as it can. And so in this sense, an index fast full scan operation is more closely related to a full table scan operation than to the index operations we've just looked at. What is happening is that Oracle has determined that it can get all the data it needs from the columns in the index, and it doesn't need to subsequently go and read more data from the table. In this way, Oracle is using the index as a type of lightweight version of the table. Since an index contains only a subset of the columns in the table, it will consume fewer blocks on disk than what the full table does. So Oracle is using that to its advantage in reading the index because this saves I.O. operations over performing a full table scan. Like a full table scan, an index fast full scan can use multi-block reads to reduce the number of physical I.O. operations that have to be performed for any blocks that are not already in the buffer pool. On the other hand, while an index will contain fewer blocks than a table, an index by itself can still be a rather large structure. And so while a fast full scan of an index is more efficient than performing a full table scan, it is much less efficient than an index range scan as you are still potentially processing thousands or tens of thousands of blocks. The final index operation we are going to discuss is an index full scan operation. Note, this is different than the index operation we just discussed, an index fast full scan operation. In an index full scan operation, Oracle reads the entire contents of the index in sorted order. The typical reason for doing this is that there's an order by clause in the query and every column in the order by clause is contained in the index and the order of the columns in the order by clause matches the order of the columns in the index. A second scenario is that a query contains a group by clause and that all of the columns in the group by clause are contained within the index. Since Oracle is reading the index in sorted order, it will use single block I.O. operations to read any blocks from the disk that are not in the buffer pool. Consequently, this is going to be slower than an index fast full scan that uses multi-block I.O. operations. This operation is going to be faster than a full table scan because again, the index will only contain a few columns and therefore will be fewer blocks than reading the full table. Also, Oracle is getting the data back in sorted order, and so this saves Oracle from having to perform a sort once it has read the table. However, this operation is reading the entire index, and it's doing so using single block IOs, so overall, this is going to be a relatively slow operation.